pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I've reached out to you, and so maybe you know that I'm the one that's been trying to get the New Hampshire resolution to get big money out of politics on the agenda. Um, I anticipated coming here with a bunch of points about corporate personhood and Citizens United and, and all of that, but um, I'm having a hard time getting on the agenda, and I would like to ask why. I was told that it was because the municipalities don't have authority to regulate political spending, which is, of course, true, but this is not a law regulating political spending. This is a resolution saying that the town supports the move to create an amendment which does all of the things that is in the resolution language. So this is something that is on the ballot in 50 other New Hampshire towns, has already been passed in 500 municipalities across the country, so it is something that a municipality can take up. And um, I just would like to know why it hasn't been put on the agenda. Any resolutions or, or vote of the count, to expect the vote of the council would have to come uh, be introduced by a counselor or by staff. And when it comes to an item like that, staff usually would not bring that forward. So a council would probably have to bring an item like that forward before the council for a resolution. We only bring up administrative items. But if you're telling me that it's neither an issue for the warrant and nor an issue for the council, you're basically saying there is no forum for it to be brought up in. No, no, I wasn't saying it's not an issue for the council. The council is the legislative body on those matters. A council would have to bring it before the council. Well, that is not what you told me when you advised me to submit it and that it would be put on the following. And I, I, I apologize if it was misunderstood, but that's the rules and... I've got to go with what the council will Okay, decide. well, this is also an issue, though, that is being brought to the council by the constituents. This is, you know, I don't know how many of your agenda items are directly brought to you like this, but this is something that has wide support in the town of Newmarket as well as throughout the country, 80% uh, support regardless of political party. So I don't understand why something that has that kind of broad support can't find a forum because we are trying to act in our local government, and you're basically saying the local government won't bring this up what you're looking for is just so I'm clear you want the council to basically put a resolution or a statement forward that we support getting big money out of um, politics well yeah the language of the actual resolution if you read it basically says that we want to say that new market supports and therefore new market will tell its delegation and Congress and also its state representatives that we support an amendment to the Constitution that does two things. The first thing says that political, that we, we as people have the right to regulate political spending. And the second thing is that establishing that corporate, I'm sorry, constitutional rights were established for people, natural people, and not artificial entities. Okay. Um, a couple of counselors, Councilman Zara. So, let me, maybe we can short circuit this. If a counselor who is amenable to some of the ideas that are being expressed put forth a resolution with language generally that is being discussed, then it would have to go on the agenda and be something to be discussed. Right. So that that is the path to this. Um, I'm well, certainly supportive, and I would make the resolution just to get it on it myself. Okay. Just made a public hearing. So two of the this gets on the agenda. Thank you.